Hi, so this video is all about how you can create your own green screen videos for use on photo capture events in Rightmove. So what you have to do is find suitable videos. Now you can either record them yourself or you can find them at places like pexels.com. Now let me have a look on pexels. And in my demonstration video, I actually use this free to use video from Pexels. I also got a couple more from this sort of website as well. So that's the first thing, find yourself some videos that have got people in them on either side of the middle of the video recording so that the user can stand in the middle when photos are captured in right booth. So this one's quite a useful one to have. The other way to do it is to record videos yourself in right booth. Now, let me just come out of here and look at the event files. In this video recording event, I recorded two videos of myself moving in and out of the shot. So let's have a look at this one. As you can see, I move in, I wait a few seconds and then I move back out again. Similarly with this one, I come in from the other side, I pose, and then I walk back out. So I just recorded those two videos using Rightbooth, using my Logitech stream cam. So if I look at this uh, video recording event, I've just set it up to record videos for nine seconds. Now, before I show you everything, I need to explain about mirrored webcam recordings. Now, it's very important that you configure Rightbooth for mirrored webcam recording. And the reason for this is to make sure that the camera live view shows a mirror image of the users on your event screens. Now, why is this important? Well, there's two reasons. Number one, the solution I'm going to show you in this tutorial will be using the video overlays feature in your photo capture events. And for this reason, you're going to be wanting your users to be able to easily position themselves within the webcam live view on your event screens. So the users will be moving left and right, trying to position themselves. So as they move left, they want to see themselves on the screen moving left as well. So you have to mirror the webcam feed. And secondly, the solution I'm going to describe in this tutorial makes use of the Rightbooth stamp feature. Now, when Rightbooth takes photos, if there are any stamp items on the screen, and there will be, there'll be video stamps, it will automatically flip the webcam back. So in other words, the flip X property on the webcam camera items on the event screens will not be used, it'll be ignored. So you may as well turn them off. So basically two things you have to do, you have to mirror the webcam in settings and you have to turn off the flip X property on the camera item on all your event screens. So let me show you how to do that. So go into right with settings, cameras, webcam video, and look at the mirror X property. Now by default, right booth has got that turned off. So as I say, you want to tick this, so let's do that. So that's mirrored the webcam feed. So the actual feed from the camera itself is now flipped over as it comes into right booth. The next thing you want to do is to untick all the flip X properties on all the camera items on all your event screens. So let's do that. Go into the editor, select the camera item, and here you can see that the flip X property is set. So turn that off. And you need to do that on all your event screens. Get ready screen, select the webcam item, and again, make sure that the flip X property is turned off. So just make sure that that is turned off on all of your event screens, and then you're good to go with the rest of this tutorial. So as I say, you just need to create short videos of you coming into shot and back out again. So set the recording going in right move, walk in, pose for three seconds, and then walk back out.
Now, when you've got the videos that you want, the next thing is to create green screen versions of them. So how did I do that? Well, I found this fantastic tool called Runway ML. Let me show you it. It's an online tool. So it's this, runwayml.com. It's totally free to use. Here's the free version, and it lets you create 720p videos. Now, if you want to create higher resolution videos, then you need to sign up and start paying. $15 a month gets you 1080p. But I was quite happy with the 720p version, so you can basically sign up, log in, and start creating 720p green screen videos. Now, let's look at my account. Here you can see the videos that I've uploaded previously. So so I have the two videos of myself moving in from stage left and stage right. And I also have three videos that I got from Pexels, including the candle video. So how do you create green screen versions of these? Well, you click create new project and choose green screen. Now at this point, there are some assets that you want to have uploaded, but you can do that simply by dragging and dropping files. So I could take my right booth recordings and drop them in here. I won't do that because I've already done it. Or you could take the ones from Pexels and drop them into here. So we've started a new green screen project. Let me take this video, drag it into here and drop it. Now what you need to do is apply a mask and you need to apply the mask onto the foreground. So the people that you want to keep so let me get myself in view and all you have to do is start clicking on the areas that you want to mask. So I'll click here. Now Runway ML has tried its best to make this a full mask. It's missed part of my shirt. So let's click here. And it's just missed this sleeve. So let's click here. So with three clicks, I have now masked myself off completely. Let's see what it's done with the rest of the video. Now that is pretty amazing. I'm quite happy with that. So once you're happy with the mask, you click done masking. Runway ML will now create a green screen background version. And here it is. Let's try it. So that's pretty good. Once you're happy with the green screen version, click export and simply download the video. It's a 720p MP4. Now I don't need to do that because I've already got it. So uh, that's just to show you. Now let me just try again. Let's try another one. Back to projects. This time I'm going to create another green screen project. And this time I will use this Campbell video from Pexels. So I'll drag this in. Again, let's just start clicking. So up here. So it's missed this part. So let's click here. And just there. And over here. Here. And there. Now there's one more thing it's missed and that's the brightness of the candle flame. So let's just click on the flame. Now that should do it. Let's do the preview and see what Runway ML has made of the whole video. Now I think that's incredible. So Runway ML has actually created a mask for every frame of the video based on those seven points I clicked at the start. So I'm done masking. It's now creating a green screen background version. Let's drag this over here and play it. And it's as simple as that. Again, when you're happy with it, 
click the export, download a 720p version onto your computer. And again, I won't do that because I've already got that. So that's how you create green screen videos from either your recordings in Rightbooth or from files that you find on the internet. Okay, so now we've got our green screen videos and I'm going to show you how you can use them in a Rightbooth photo capture event. So I've downloaded the videos here. So this has come from Runway ML. And as you can see, I've got my two videos here that show me coming in stage left and stage right. I've also got this candle video and a couple of other videos here as well, which I'm going to use. So the first thing to do is to create yourself a photo capture event. This is a standard capture event here. Let's have a look at it. So we have the start screen, a get ready screen, a countdown screen, and the take photo screen. And the show photo screen. Now, to make use of your green screen videos as part of your photo capture, it all takes place on the take photo screen. Now, when you create a photo capture event, it creates a take photo screen that's got a timeout of two seconds. So what happens is that Rightbooth will show this screen for two seconds. It will take the photo somewhere through that two seconds, and I'll show you how to define that later. And then it will move on to the show photo screen. So the first thing we need to do here is we want to increase the length of time that the take photo screen is going to show. And we're going to increase it to nine seconds. And the reason for that is because I have recorded my stage left, stage right videos to be nine seconds long. <clears throat> so that's the first thing. The next thing we need to do is to add our overlay videos. So click the add items button and choose video. Now I've added my videos into the Right Mood Media Library. If you haven't done that, you can get them from the more videos section and go and find them on your computer. But I've got them conveniently here. So this is the stage left video, so let's add that. And as you can see, it adds it with um, the green background. So we need to remove that green background. And the way to do that is you click on this and you choose this option here. And that takes out the green background completely. Now we need to just position this over the webcam view. So probably the best way to do this is to set this to stretch. And then you can really position this exactly how you want it. So I'm just positioning the extremity of the video so that it matches the live view from the webcam. And I can add another one. Let's add a second one. So I want to come on from stage right. Let's do the same thing. Set that to have no background. Now, before I position this over the top of the other one, let me just select this one and I'm going to set it as a stamp item. That's very important so that when the photo is captured, Rightboot will automatically capture the frame that's showing on these videos. So I'll do the same with this one down here. So set it as a stamp. <clears throat> also set it to stretch. And let's just move this one over the webcam view as well. So exactly the same way, top corner there, and down here. Okay, that looks about right. So as you can see, we've got nine second videos. We've got three seconds of me coming in, three seconds where I pose, and three seconds where I leave again. So I want to change the capture photo delay on this so that the photo is taken about four seconds into this take photo screen. So how do I do that? 
Well, to do that, we come out of here and we go into the event designer, event structure, and we look at the take photo section. Now here, this is important. By default, Rightbooth sets the photo capture delay to be half a second, which means that on the take photo screen, when the take photo screen shows, it will wait half a second before the photo is captured. So what we need to do is to increase this delay. Now, now remember, we've set the take photo screen timeout to be nine seconds. So we can set this to something like five seconds. Now what that does is it will delay the taking of the photo for five seconds on the take photo screen. So that will give the videos time for me to move into shot and set myself up for the posing. So let's just try that. I'm just going to save this. I'm playing the event. Get ready. Countdown. I'm now onto the smile screen, but it's not capturing the photo until five seconds and there we go. Now there's one or two things wrong with that workflow. Let's come out. So the first thing is there was a countdown before the take photo screen. So we don't want the countdown screen. So let's go to the event structure, countdown and untick this. We don't want the countdown screen. Now, what we need to do is to add the countdown on the actual take photo screen so that the user knows when the photo is going to be taken. So let's go back into the editor. Let's go to the take photo screen. And I'm going to add a countdown item. Now, by default, it's set to five seconds, so I'll put that there. So let's try that, let's see how that works. So I'm playing the event again. Get ready. Now we're onto the take photo screen. Okay, it wasn't quite right. So it was still on the one second countdown. So I think we need to set the countdown item to four seconds. So let's do that into the editor, back to the take photo screen, select the countdown item and set it to four instead of five. Okay, let's try that one more time. Playing the event, get ready, four countdown, perfect. So just to recap then, um, on the take photo screen, we set the screen time out to nine seconds to match the length of these videos. We add a countdown item, which is the amount of time that is the photo capture delay, which is in the event designer. And we add the two videos. We set their backgrounds to be minus the green screen and we size them to overlay onto the webcam item. These two items are set as stamp items. Also, you get rid of the standard countdown screen. So in other words, you don't have a countdown screen before the take photo screen. So in other words, the countdown screen is now on the take photo screen. And that's really all there is to it. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the other set that I showed you where each photo has got a different overlay video. So let's show you how to do that. Okay, so I've opened up another photo capture event. Again, it's the same thing. Start, get ready, no countdown screen. But this time on the take photo screen, I've got a timeout of five seconds. So I'm only going to be showing the overlay video for five seconds. And that's why I've got a three second countdown.
So in the event designer under the photo capture section, I've got the photo capture delay set to 400, I think it is. So, it's, so basically the photo is going to be taken four seconds into this five second timeout on this screen. Let me just show you that. Into the designer, event structure, take photo and as you can see I've got a four second photo capture delay. Back to the take photo screen. So this time what I want to do, oh by the way this photo capture event is set up to take three photos. So what I want to do is I want to show a different overlay video for each of the three photos. So how do I do that? Well, this time, instead of adding video items, I add one video sequence item. And I'm going to add the three videos that I want to overlay. So double click, add. Now, the videos are all stored here in my drive D. So you can get them from anywhere on your computer, really. So I'm going to use this one this one and this one so here are the three videos now what i want to do is i want to only show one of them each time i want to set a random video start so that each time i use one it will play from a different part of the video so they get some variety into it really and I don't need to reset the list to the start each time. So what will happen is that each photo will use a different one of these. Okay, click OK. Next, I want to just modify the animation properties. So I don't want them to fade in and out. I want the pause for five seconds. So in other words, the video will play for five seconds. So that matches the screen timeout. And obviously I want to turn off the background green and I want to make it a stamp. I'll also stretch it so it makes it easy for me to position it over the webcam feed. So that's the last thing I need to do really here. Okay, that's about it, I think. So now we have three separate videos in this video sequence item, but Rightmove will only play one of them each time this screen is shown. The screen will be shown for five seconds. The photo won't be captured until four seconds of that five seconds has elapsed. And that's signified to the user by this countdown item, which I've added as a three second countdown. So let's just try that and see if it works. Okay, I'm playing the event. Get ready. Now, that's the first video, first photo. Onto the second photo. So it's showing the second video, second photo. And finally, photo three, it shows the third video third photo and that's all there is to it uh, it's probably a little bit complicated but really once you've got the steps it's fairly easy to do this and you can just substitute lots and lots of different videos for this process so i hope you find it useful and thanks for watching